Today we're going to be looking at tonic and dominant triads within major keys. And this lesson is a prerequisite to the next lesson where we're going to be taking these two triads and playing them together using root position and first inversion. So before doing that, I just want to get you acquainted with these two chords in all of the different major keys. The first triad is built on the first note of any major scale, and it's called the tonic step of the scale, so it's often referred to as the tonic triad. Um, jazz musicians and other musicians just refer to it as a one chord. I like using one chord to describe it. And then if we count up one, two, three, four, five, we come to what's called the dominant step of the major scale. And we construct the triads at those points using the notes within that particular scale. So since C major has no sharps or flats, the corresponding triads won't have any sharps or flats either. So we have simply C, E, G, and G, B, D for our one and five chord respectively. Now I made another little note here, both the tonic the one chord and the dominant five triads or chords are both major. Okay, so that's important to remember. And what we're going to do today is identify the two in each key using the name of the triad. For instance, this is C, and I'm just going to put a capital C for C major, and this is G. For G major, and then underneath we're going to use large Roman numeral 1 and large Roman numeral 5 as identifiers. So let's go on to C sharp major and identify the 1 and the 5 chords in that key. Now you remember C sharp major has 7 sharps, and since there are only 7 letter names in the musical alphabet, all of these notes you see on this line have imaginary sharps to the left of them. And that's the function, that's how the key signature functions. It's telling you if you come across an F, C, G, D, A, E, or B, play it as a sharp. So just as a refresher, let's write in C sharp major here, but let's write in the sharps just so you see them. So this is C sharp, E sharp, and G sharp, and that's our one chord. Same thing with the five chord now. It's G sharp major, and everything's sharp. G sharp, B sharp, and D sharp. And we head on down to D flat major, and we have the flats B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. Well, that leaves the white keys of F and C, those are the only white keys remaining. So every other note is flatted. So if we take a look at D, F, A here, we have a D flat and A flat on top. We have a major triad. And that's our one chord. And then we're gonna have for the five chord A flat major so we have A, C, E, but the key signature is telling us flat the A. Don't flat the C, because there's no C flat over here, but flat the, here's an E flat, so flat that E flat. And there's our A flat major triad. Now right, let's look at D major. The key signature is F sharp and C sharp, so wherever we see an F or a C in the music, we're going to sharp it. So we have D, F, A here. That's D, F sharp, A, and that's our D major triad, which is the one chord. Okay, we come over to A. We have A, C, E. There's a C sharp in the key signature, so this is a C sharp in the middle, and our five chord is A major. All right, the key signature of E flat tells us B flat, E flat, A flat are all flatted, so... Here we have E, G, B, so it's an E flat 
and a B flat, and that gives us our E flat major triad, which is our one chord. We go one, two, three, four, five is a B flat major, which is our five chord. And the only flat here out of the B, D, and the F is the B flat. The E major key signature tells us that all Fs, Cs, Gs, and Ds are sharped. So we have E, G, B here, so the middle G, -sh G is sharped. And we have E major for our one chord. Let's take a look at the five chord. Do we have any F, C's, G's, or D's in this triad. We have a B, D, F, so the D sharp comes from the key signature over here, and the F sharp comes from the key signature. And there's our B major triad for our five chord. And F major just has a B flat in the scale, so the one chord is good, F, A, C. F major, five chord is simply C, E, G. C major. And now we're up to F sharp major and we have a multitude of sharps, F, C, G, D, A, E. The only one, the only note that hasn't been sharped is a B. So everything you see on this line is sharped except for where you see a B. So you can assume Everything else you're going to play as sharps. So the one chord is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. That's F sharp major. And the five chord is C sharp, E sharp, G sharp. And that's C sharp major. And if you remember, G flat major is the enharmonic equivalent of F sharp major. They're exactly, they sound exactly the same, but they look completely different. So in G flat major, we have six flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat. The only one missing is F. So everything will be flatted on this line, except for wherever we see an F, which is here, and here. So our one chord is G flat major, G flat, B flat, D flat. Let's call that one. Five chord, there's the F in the middle, but the others are flatted. So we have D flat, F, A flat. And that's a D flat major for the five chord. All right, G major, we have to be on the lookout for Fs because any F is sharped. And we see there's an F here in this triad, and there's an F up here. So all of the other notes will be white keys except for those two Fs. So our one chord is G major, G, B, D, five chord, has an F in the middle, we sharp that from the key signature. And we have D major, D F, D F sharp A. All right, the key signature of A flat tells us that B, E, A, and Ds are all flatted. So B, E, A, D, that leaves G, C, and F, which aren't flatted. So here we have the one chord, which is A flat major. We have A flat, C, E flat. That's our one chord. Come up to the five chord. We have E flat. Here's the E flat in the key signature. We have a G, but there's no G flat over here, so we leave it alone. Here's a B. Well, we have a B flat in the key signature, so we flat it. And our five chord is E flat major. The key signature of A major tells us F, C, and G are sharped. So let's see what happens there. Um, one chord, 
We have A, C in the middle, taken from, here's the C in the key signature, the sharp, C sharp. So we have A, C sharp, E is A major. That's our one chord, five chord. The E is good. The G is sharped in the key signature. And the B is fine the way it is. So our five chord is E major. All right, here's B flat major. The flats are B flat and E flat. Everything else is a white key. So chord, uh, first chord, the tonic or the one chord, we have a B flat on the bottom, followed by a D and an e F. So that's our B flat major triad. That's our one chord. Five chord is good as written there. F, A, C is fine. There are no F flats or A flats or C flats over in the key signature. So it's just a plain old F major triad for the five chord. And we have a bunch of sharps for B major. And I don't know if I discussed this when we did the B major scale together, but when you're playing the B scale, the only white keys are the Bs and the Es. Everything else is sharped. So in this case, for the one chord, we have B major, B, D sharp, F sharp. Five chord, everything is sharped, right? F sharp from here, A sharp right there, C sharp, all in the key signature. And I'm writing these out because, you know, this is kind of new for you. And we finish with C flat major, which is the enharmonic equivalent of B. So let's take a look at this. Now everything is flatted on this line. So the first chord is C flat major. That's our one chord. And all of these notes are flatted according to the key signature. Look at the difference between B major and C flat major. And which one would you prefer to play or to read if you were a pianist? So that's, that's the option that's available to a composer, you know. Uh, what's easier for the performer? Um, do they prefer playing in B or should we call it C flat? So it's up to the composer, though. All right, now let's go one, two, three, four, five. This is our five chord. And that's going to be the enharmonic equivalent of F sharp major, which is G flat major. So we have G flat, B flat, and D flat. So to review, we built triads on the first step of a major scale and on the fifth step of the major scale. The first triad is called the one chord or the tonic. The fifth or the five chord is called the dominant triad. Additionally, both the tonic and the dominant, the one and the five, are both major triads. So here's what you should do for homework. Print these two sheets out and label them just the way I labeled them. Go through it, write in the name of the chord, put the function. This, this is also called the function of the chord. In other words, uh, a one chord functions differently than a five chord within a, a, a particular key. Another good word for function, if you don't understand that, is Operate. How does a chord operate within a key? And a five chord operates very differently than a one chord. And then come down and just refresh your memory by writing in the sharps or flats wherever needed. Write in the names of the one and the five chord in all cases and you'll be good. So with that, I'll see you next time, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.